Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Smart Hacks. My name is Gary, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to take a scanned image and rig it in Photoshop to use as a puppet in Adobe Character Animator. Open your images in Photoshop. Let's start with the full body drawing. Let's crop it by pressing the C for Crop Tool, then enter 800px and 1050px in the fields at the top of the screen. Draw a rectangle to include all of your character's body. You can adjust the dimensions by using the corner handles. When you're happy, press the Enter key to commit the change. Photoshop resizes the image and we're ready to adjust the color levels. Hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows and press the L key to bring up the Levels dialog. Click the white eyedropper and then click an area of the scanned paper that should be 100% white. Photoshop brightens the image, but you may need to click a few more times to get rid of any artifacts. Next, select the black eyedropper and click an area of the photo that should be 100% black. If you accidentally click in the wrong place, you can reset the dialog window by holding down the Alt key, which changes the cancel button to reset. Click the reset button and set the white and black points again. Once you're happy with the preview, click OK. Next, let's isolate the character from the background. Press the letter Q for quick mask and then press the B for brush key. Next, press D to reset the color picker to the default black and white and paint over everything you want to keep. Note that the word Quick Mask will display in the file name at the top of your window anytime you're in Quick Mask selection mode. Use the left and right bracket keys to change the brush size. I like to zoom in fairly close with a medium sized brush and quickly paint around the character while holding the Shift key. That connects the dots underneath every place that I click. Don't worry about being precise, you can always clean it up later. Now, fill in all the areas inside the outline. Once you're happy, press the letter Q again to exit Quick Mask, and you should see marching ants. Hold down Command Shift I, Control Shift I on Windows, to select the inverse of what's currently selected. Last, Command Alt J to jump your selection to a new layer and rename it Torso and Legs. This will be our bottommost layer, over which all other layers will move. Now, let's start jumping other body parts to their own named layers. Let's work on the character's left eyebrow. Press Q to enter quick mask mode, B for brush, match the brush size to the part size using the bracket keys, and paint over the entire eyebrow. Press Q again to exit quick mask, and press Command Shift I to invert the selection. Now press Command Alt J to jump the selection to its own layer and enter a new layer name. Name it plus left spacebar eyebrow. Now if we repeat the process for the other eyebrow you may get a warning dialog. The reason is because we always need to activate the bottom layer from which we'll mask and jump other body parts to a new layer. Reactivate the torso and legs layer and you should be able to command Alt J to jump the selection to its own layer. Repeat the process for the pupils, eyeballs, nose, and mouth. Now it's time to erase elements on the torso and legs layer. Hold down Alt key and click the eyeball icon to the left of the torso layer. This hides all the other layers. Press the J key and we're going to paint over each of the areas we just jumped starting with the eyes. Choose a brush that's slightly smaller than the area you want to work on. Then hold down the mouse button while you click and drag to paint the entire area. Sometimes it's better to click multiple times, it just depends. You can always Command Alt Z or Control Alt Z on Windows to step back in history to undo. The goal is to erase everything we jumped to separate layers. We also need to do this for both of the eyeball layers. Now, right click the neutral mouth layer and select Duplicate Layer 
in order to use it as the left and right eye blink. Type left spacebar blink spacebar left paren b exclamation mark right paren for layer name and click OK. Now use the move tool to reposition the blink layer centered on the left eyeball. Do the same for the right blink. Then drag the blink layers to the top position inside each of the eyeball layers and turn off visibility. Once you've got all the layers separated and named correctly, save your Photoshop file as a PSD and launch Adobe Character Animator. Because Animator opens the last active document, you may need to start a new project file by going to File, New Project. Then you can go to File, Import, and navigate to your Photoshop file. Once it's loaded, drag it to the scene, enable your webcam, and click the Set Rest Pose, and your puppet should start tracking your motion. Press the B key to make him blink. You can move your eyebrows as well. You can add additional mouth shapes while Photoshop is still open. Save changes will be automatically updated in Character Animator. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.